What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to run macros on PlayStation 4. Let's get right into it. So the very first thing that we're going to make sure that we have is a micro USB to USB cord that we can plug our controller into our computer. It is important that you are able to plug in your controller in order to create the macro unless you want to uh, script your own. I will not be scripting my own today. You are also going to need to download PlayStation Remote Play from this link in the description and download your macro for the PlayStation 4. Link to that is also in the description. So first things first, we are going to go to the link and download PlayStation Remote Play. I am a Windows PC user. Go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to want to download. Press save file. It's a very short download, doesn't take long at all. Go ahead and click on that, and you can close out of your browser after accepting the shield. Close out of that, and you should get this little menu right here. Go ahead and select your language, press OK, and then the installer runs. After the installer runs, you get this setup wizard right here. Go ahead and click on next. Accept the license agreement. Choose where you want to save this. Press next and install. This again is a quite short process. Press finish. And there we go. We have PlayStation 4 Remote Play installed. And this should show up on your desktop. So next thing we want to do is go ahead and run PlayStation 4 Remote Play. It is important that you run PlayStation 4 Remote Play before you run the macro. So next thing that we want to do is go ahead and try to connect to our PlayStation 4. Go to Settings and Sign In. So you are going to have to sign into your own account right here. Mine is already signed in. And close out of that and press Start. It is going to begin to look for your PlayStation 4. You want to make sure that your PlayStation 4 is turned on, connected to the internet, and signed in to the same account that you have logged in right here. And you should be able to connect to it for at least the first time. You can also register manually. So right here, it found my PlayStation 4, and it will begin to connect. Now, my internet is not the best, so we may have a little bit of latency issues when connected to the PlayStation 4, but it would be good enough for this video. So here we see we are connected to my PlayStation 4. I, I'm on Far Cry 5 right here. It doesn't like that I switched it from a different monitor, but we're just going to ignore that for right now. Now we can open up our macros for PS4. Once you click on that, it should open up this file right here, and you're going to want to run this PS4 macro. And then you can close out of this window. So here we should see this menu right here. Now to make sure that everything is working, we're going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Help, my bad. Go to Help and click on the Status Checker. So we see that our mouse is working. We see that our keyboard is working, but right here, the interceptor is not working. This is because I do not yet have my controller plugged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of that. Make sure that you have your USB to micro USB cable plugged in, and then plug in your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. Once that is plugged in, go ahead and do the status checker again, and now we can see the interceptor is working. So... Whenever I move around on my controller, we can see that in the game, we are actually playing through the computer. If we want to begin to record a macro, I want you to watch right here. If I press on the right side of the pad for my controller, then it begins to record a macro. So these numbers constantly moving at the same time means that a macro is recording. In order to stop it, you can press that button again. 
and it will begin to play. So at the moment, I am not touching my controller, but it is moving around on my screen. This game happens to be that whenever I push the right button on my pad, it opens up the map, which is why it went to the map right there. So in order to stop it, go ahead and press pause. You can also record and play right here. Those don't always work, but a surefire way is to press this side of the controller. Okay, so in order to get rid of that, you go to edit and clear macro. If you want to record another one, you can go ahead and push this record button right here. But as you can see, this does not move, meaning that it's not working. So it is important that you push the pad button on your controller and then you can begin to record your macro. So after you have recorded what you wanted to record, you can go ahead and push this pause button. And if you want to play it, you can press play. So depending on your internet quality will depend on how good the macro runs. In order to save the macro, go ahead and pause it, press file, save as, and then it should save, or you will want to save it to this macro file right here that we have on our desktop. So we're going to go ahead and path to that, go to desktop, macros for PS4, and this is where we are going to want to save it. I am going to name this first macro. Press save. So now we can close out of that, and the next time that we open it, we will be able to go to that macro. Go to file, open, and then find your first macro. Press open. And then we can begin to run. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to run macros without needing to plug in your controller. You will need to plug in your controller the first time in order to create your first macro, unless you want to script your own macro. So in order to make it so that you can run the macro without the controller, first you have to unplug your controller because the program will always try to use your controller first. So close out of your PS4 macro and go down here to where it says settings, right click on that, press open with and notepad. So here where it says emulate controller false to emulate controller, we want to change false to true. Press Control S to save it, or go up here and press Save, and close out of this. So now whenever you run your PS4 macro, you will notice that there is a little black controller right here, meaning that it is emulating your controller. So the PS4 remote play thinks there is a controller plugged in when there is actually not. So in order to run a macro, you go to File, Open, click on whichever macro you have previously created, go ahead and press Open, and then you can play it just fine. So an important thing to note is that whenever you are creating macros, you do not have to place them in this file. I like to, to stay organized. You can even create another folder just for macros. And that would work just fine. You can store them wherever you want. If you script your own, you can share them with other people. If you create your own, you can share them with other people. It is super simple and super easy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Anything from you guys helps. And if you're new, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.